Well, the U.S. military revealing its brand new crowd control instrument that could also protect U.S. ships from pirates, the very intrepid. Peter Ducey volunteering to test this thing out, Allie. And no, he was not the guy doing the shooting. He was actually shot at, and Peter's going to tell us what it felt like and show us that moment. Peter, take it away. Allison, I'll tell you first that I learned this week firsthand, non-lethal also means not pleasant. Look at this. <laughs> You can't see it, hear it, or smell it, but it makes unruly mobs do this. The Defense Department's active denial system, a non-lethal weapon that can be used to control crowds, secure perimeters, and keep pirates at bay. It could be a game changer. This is one of the things that we can shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, normally you can't do that. The military says the active denial system is not radioactive, it's not a microwave, and it's not a laser beam. It's instead a man-sized beam of millimeter waves that can be fired from up to a thousand meters away that are designed to get the subject, whoever's standing on this X, really, really hot so that they move. <laughs> and it's about 50 degrees out here right now, but I just felt like it was about a thousand and I've never been inside a tub that somebody dropped a hair dryer in, but I would imagine that that's what it feels like. After about 1.5 seconds, 1 64th of an inch of my skin was 130 degrees, but as soon as I stepped away, it was over, and the DOD says there aren't any lingering effects. There's no um, cancer risk, there's no um, risk to a fetus or reproductive capability, it's just heat. But the DOD admits this system does have a drawback. We are propagating through the air. We are, therefore, relatively line of sight. And so we need to be line of sight with targets. A prototype costs $10 million, and there are no plans to deploy one anytime soon. At Marine Base Quantico in Virginia, Peter Ducey, Fox News. <laughs> And uh, we're told that out of 11,000 people they've tested this system out on, they've only had two injuries, and those were second-degree burns from overexposure, but that now there are measures in place to avoid injury and keep things both legal and treaty compliant, which is a big concern. Oh, good. Uh, I'm glad they worked out that kink. Um, <laughs> but, Peter, why didn't you scream? I mean, did, can you ye did you feel like yelling when you were, were burned like that? It's one of those things you don't even really have time to scream. It's just with no buildup. Every single inch of your skin, with me it was just my torso, is immediately just, they said about 130 degrees with, uh, you know, no warning, just right away. It's, it's oh. like an iron just being pressed oh. right onto you all at once. So before you even have time to scream, you know, you, you kind of gasp and then your heart starts racing. Uh, but then it's done. As soon as you're out of the line of the, the wave, it's done. Wow. Yeah, and it sears every hair off your body. Now Peter's chest looks like the situations. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. There's an image, Peter.